this one book could transform your science lessons. Welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we're a homeschooling family of four. We are entering our ninth year of homeschooling, and I enjoy coming here and sharing absolutely every possible resource that I believe will fit into not only our homeschool lives, but could serve you well as fellow secular homeschoolers. And today, I wanna to talk with you about an animal a day currently being offered in the Timberdoodle second grade kids. Let's go. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down below or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. And of course, I will have everything that I am talking about linked down below. So today we are talking about an animal a day, which as you can tell, is a hardcover book. It is available from Timberdoodle. They do not publish. Again, they have just curated some amazing things, one of which is this book. And it is available standalone for $24.99 on their website, as well as included in the second grade curriculum kits, both regular and non-religious, as well as I want to say it's probably in the complete and elite levels, but I can confirm that and I'll put that right here on the screen for you just so that you know. It is recommended for first grade and up or six and up. That being said, if your homeschool is anything like mine, um, Timberdoodle just has to have a good place to kind of put it. And with the intent of it being a read aloud, which I'll get to kind of the more intent use of this in just a moment, they often put things in their kits uh, where they feel like they are suited best, but that doesn't mean that that's the only place you can use them. So again, if your home's anything like my home, we have things that we have used either way earlier than, than recommended or way later than recommended, and we still enjoy and love them every single step of the way. So an animal a day, the way that this can fit into your home and the way that, well, you know what, let's talk about some options here. So for an animal a day, something that you could do, something that you could use it with, for example, is to get your day started. There is a little bit of a fun fact that highlights 365 different animals from all over the world in every geographical region. It gives you information about the animal. It gives you a picture. It gives you um, some fun facts. It gives you uh, information about where they are, their conservation status, anything that you might want to know. There are 365 of them in this book to give you just a little bit of a jumping off point, either to start your day, maybe to end your day. So the option is to explore one animal a day, or as I am 100% certain it will be used in my home, it will be used as a conference, like as a constant reference manual for animals. You guys know if you've been following along, we have a very large animal lover in our home. She is completely obsessed with animals of all kinds and loves facts and consuming them. So I know that as soon as she's able to get her hands on this book, it will be not only enjoyed one time, but again and again and again. And this is very reminiscent to me. If you recall, I did a video, I wanna say, I don't think it was this past year, I think it was the year before, about a poem a day, Tiger, Tiger, Burning Bright. And it was a poem every single day, one for every day of the year about um, an animal and she loved it so incredibly much. So I know that she is just going to hunker down on this. This will be her treasured keepsake that I know while we will all enjoy, um, I know that she is going to latch onto this and just love it so much. So really quick rundown before we get to the detailed flip through, because of course you guys know I've got to give you one. Um, I love sharing the high quality products that Timberdoodle does curate in their curriculum kits. If you are unfamiliar, they are kind of a, they're a curriculum company that offers kits in basic, which is just what you need, complete, which is a little extra, and elite, which is everything that they think should go in the box for that particular grade level. They offer both their kind of OG, which is religious-based curriculum, and then they also offer non-religious. So I have, I found them, uh, I purchased as a full-blown customer uh, when my oldest was entering second grade and have continued to do that for the last seven years. So I 
go way back with Temper Doodle. I absolutely love them. You guys know if you follow any of my planning videos, that's where I start with my kind of curriculum sourcing every single year. They gave me the training wheels that I really needed to get out and kind of branch out on my own as far as our homeschooling journey goes. Absolutely love them. Wonderful customer service. They will answer any question that you absolutely need. And if you are unfamiliar, I am part of their blog team, which means every once in a while I get an amazing opportunity to talk about specific products and animal a day is one of them. We do not have a second grader this year. We have a fourth grader, but I know that my fourth grader and even my incoming eighth grader are going to absolutely love utilizing this book because the little snippets of things. So a little bit every day is really fun, but it gives the opportunity for them if they choose to do more, which I know that my kids are gonna do more, but it's a really nice kind of touch point to just spark further conversation. So if you're studying biology, if you're studying anything about the animal kingdom, if you're even studying geography and you wanna have an idea of what kind of animals do live in that region or that climate or that temperament, things like this can be really fun. I enjoy keeping uh, really well quality made products on our shelves that do focus on just a little bit of seed planting as far as their educational journey. So we could use it in science. We could use it simply just to enjoy it. And I think a lot of people forget that sometimes just enjoying something is good enough. It doesn't have to serve a purpose. It doesn't have to plug into anything bigger. It could, it absolutely could. So yes, it could be the thing that changes your, your homeschool science lessons for the better, but it could be that maybe you are my kind of people and you are a big nerd who just loves a big book and you are raising even bigger little wonderful educated um nerds who are going to be really excited about the facts that are jam-packed into a book like this let's pop over and i will give you a down shot to look inside an animal a day and here's a look at an animal a day as you can see it is about an inch thick so it is a large thick book. It has a very nice glossy hard cover which helps everything look nicer longer. The illustrations inside the book are gorgeous. As you can see it covers all kinds of things right up front. It offers you that table of contents to let you know what's covered in every single month has a theme or two. And then it does open up with explaining animals. So explaining uh, the kinds of animals that it's going to go over, the different classifications of animals, tracking animals. And there you see many pages have multiple days, but it does offer the scientific name, the animal group, the size, diet, location, and then conservation status of every animal that is highlighted. Some have larger uh, full page spreads and some are multiple animals to a page, but all of them have really great illustrations to give you an idea of what you are looking at. And again, it is sorted into a little bit of themes. So things that do hide or like right there, urban animals or things that do practice a certain amount of dormancy during their, you know, normal life cycles nightlife, um, fun animals that you can get out and see. And again, we are a family that is so privileged to live very close to a world-class zoo, but not every learner has access to the kinds of things that we experience being near a larger city. So if you haven't had an opportunity to get out in the real world and see things, for example, like a panda in real life or a giraffe in real life, it can be hard to really understand these animals. So these high quality illustrations are gonna serve your learner well. Like I said, if you have an animal lover in your home, this is just a gorgeous addition. It's very pretty. It's very well made. So a great display book for your homeschool room or even a nice coffee table book or something that you keep on a prominent bookshelf because it is, again, so visually pleasing. And I do like everything that it does cover. It does stress and, again, call out some of those animals that are in danger so that you can get another look at the things that are important. And it does have a quiz and some activities in the back, which I thought was a really fun, just a little added bonus once your kids do, if like mine surely will, zip right through this thing and enjoy it and embrace it, but get a little more out of it with that kind of quiz there in the back. And as you saw, there's an index and a glossary letting you know where everything is. I highly recommend this book. It's gorgeous. Well, guys, now that we are back on the other side of our downshot, I will let you decide. I feel like $24.99 retail 
for a good high quality, full color, large glossy paged book is a steal in today's book market. So I feel like the value is very high, not to mention I know that my children are going to get a lot of use out of this, even if it is a little bit every day, but I'm sure that it will be um, consistent over the years because some books are just really good investments to get on your shelves. And I feel like an animal a day is one of them. So thank you again to Timberdoodle for partnering with me on today's video and allowing me to review an animal a day. I hope that you enjoyed this look inside the book. I hope that it helps you maybe answer any questions, decide for yourself if you feel like it's worth it or not. And guys, as always, thanks for coming along with me. I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up.